everybody, it's Edgy Shutter from the Marketing and Recruitment Office, and I'm here this week with Sean, who is the director of our eSports program. He's going to fill you in on everything that's going on with Saints Gaming. Thanks, Ed. So, as he was saying, I run the eSports programs here at the school, so we've got two different programs. We'll talk about the academic one later on, but first of all, I want to touch on varsity. So, we were the first school in Canada to launch a varsity eSports program in 2017, and since then, we've had a tremendous amount of success. We've got championships in Counter-Strike, we've got championships in Echo Arena. This year we've got nine different teams that we're running in fall 2020. Um, and we're offering scholarships to all of those players to compete against schools, not only in Canada, but all across North America. And we're, we're pretty good. We're winning a lot of games so far this year. Overwatch, we're undefeated. League of Legends, I think we've only dropped one throughout the fall, so we're off to a pretty good start. Great, thanks, Sean. We've heard a little bit about our teams and the success that we've had here at Saints Gaming, but uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about our new facilities that we're gonna have here on campus? Yeah, so, um, so far we've had what I like to call functional facilities. We've got some of the best facilities in Canada, but we're gonna take it up a notch in a couple years. 2022, we're launching our brand new esports facility, but uh, construction is just beginning, so it's a long ways off. But when we're open, it's going to be something to behold. We'll have live spectator area with a 6v6 stage, so we can run some Overwatch competitions with teams traveling in from outside of the area. We'll have an esports lab with 60 computers for any student to drop in and play. An open uh, console lounge called the Kappa Gaming Lounge. We'll have an esports classroom, brand new broadcast facilities, VR booths, basically anything that you can think of esports or gaming related will have it at St. Clair College. Okay, so you've heard about the teams, you've heard about our great new facility that's under construction right now, but uh, Sean, can you tell me a little bit about uh, where students would go to learn more about our Saints Gaming team? So there's a few good spots to go. So first of all, you want to check out our website, saintsgaming.ca. That'll give you links to all of our social media as well. Basically, at saintsgamingca on every social media platform, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, in addition to that, you make sure to tune into our Twitch channel and our YouTube. We're broadcasting on Twitch just about every day of the week this fall. Um, we've got matches. Our calendar is absolutely jam-packed. So check it out, twitch.tv slash saintsgamingca. And just do a quick Google search for our YouTube channel, St. Clair Saints, Saints Gaming. You'll find us. Um, tons of content up there for you to check out. Okay, so you're not only the director of the Saints Gaming team here at the college, you do have another hat here where you are the coordinator of our academic program. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the academic program here at St. Clair College? Thanks, Ed. So yeah, like Ed was saying, I actually have another role here at the college. I'm at the coordinator for the academic esports administration program. So basically what we wanted to do was we wanted to create a program that would allow students to get involved with esports that weren't necessarily competitors. I myself, I realized at an early age, I wasn't very good at esports. I loved the games, loved the community, but I was more so involved on the organizing side. I like to plan events, I like to work on broadcasts. So that's what we wanted to do here at the college as well, was create an academic program for that type of student. The students that want to be involved in the community, but not necessarily just as a player. So it's a two-year diploma program. Um, you basically take six classes per semester. Kind of the highlight of the course are open-ended projects where students get to work on real-world esports projects, as well as probably the student favorite so far has been our broadcast classes. We have kind of a brand new esports broadcast lab that we opened just last year, and we're going to be opening an even bigger one in two years. So if you're looking for a program to apply to, it's going to help you get a job working in esports. This would be the college to come Thanks, Sean. This week you learned about our Saints gaming team. You learned also about our academic program here at the college. Stay tuned for a new episode coming at you next week.